Okay. So my presentations on students should do more community work or volunteer work. Um, some of the past testing community works that happened here was that last year all the sports team raked up leaves in, around Heston and some of the teams went to the nursing home and ate with them and talked with them and some of the teams did like camps for kids and I know last year the women's basketball team served food to donors that donated money to the nursing home and last year some of the theater kids went to the high schools and did like little camps with them too and uh, and if we serve those around us in return we will receive the same respect and support from our community and there is three reasons that volunteering will be beneficial for your future um first reason is that uh, <laughs> Actually, it'll show Heston community that service will show people that who we are as a person. Um, service will show who we are as a school, and service will generate fan support. And it can benefit athletes as well. In the article called The Season, it said, In 2016, 80% of college athletes volunteered at least once a year, and 44% gave gave a few hours a month of their time to local and national organizations. So the first reason was that it'll show colleges who you are. Um, in an article called Cap um, KA Plan, it says that extracurriculars can also help a college. For an example, I volunteered with my sister's basketball travel team and a cross country team. And I also volunteered at my aunt's elementary school, and I volunteered at the local animal shelter. Uh, reason two was that students will be motivated to do community work. A prof uh, in an article, it says a professor named Susan, Susan R. Jones <laughs> did a survey about the importance of understanding why students participate in community service. In 2000, first year college students said that just over 81% of students said that it was important to participate in community action program. And uh, oh, yeah, 30.9% uh, of students said that students wanted to come back and become a uh, community leader. And it was good for them because they just had to get out of the comfort zone and try something new because you don't know, you might not like it. Uh, reason three, it's benefit, benefit for your health. An article called Why Doing Good is Good for the Do-Gooder was it started with Hurricane Harvey, when, which was the flooding of Houston and other natural disasters. And it was a rush of support for critical helping affected communities to recover and people started to find ways to be able to help the people that were in need. And in the article, there was a scientific evidence that supports um, the idea of act of generosity and how it can be beneficial to volunteers and give back regularly. And they also said that volunteering is linked to health benefits like lower uh, blood pressure and decreased mor morality rates. <sighs> And in conclusion, um, volunteering will be benef beneficial for your future. And as I explained that colleges look for extracurriculars and resumes, that students will be more motivated to do work after they try it out. And lastly, it could link to a health benefit. And Dr. Dorothy Height said, without community service, we will not have a strong quality of life. It's important to the person who serves as well as the recipient. It's the way in which we ourselves grow and develop.